So you want to know how to pick the safest protective style for your fro. Don't worry, you came to the right place, your girl got you, okay? So first things first, your girl's the realist, okay? Listen up because I got the tips. I got what you need. And since I got what you need, go ahead and click that subscribe button because I'm about to spill it out, okay? The first thing you need to know is whether you have fine hair strands or thick hair strands. That is really what's going to determine which protective styles you should be using or wearing that are actually gonna be beneficial to your hair's health. Now, I just posted a video on how protective styles grew my natural hair so long in the span of maybe like four years. Now, four years for how long my hair is, is a very realistic time frame. However, some of you guys are still not receiving even the most realistic bit of hair growth. Your hair growth is really just not on the right track because you can't retain length. So for those of you who I saw your comments were suggesting that protective styles don't work for you, but you have kinky type four hair, this is your video, okay? I'm, I'm, about, I'm about to fix it, okay? Let's go ahead and fix it. So how you know whether you have fine or thick hair strands is by really just looking at your hair strands. If you notice that your hair strands are just very light, airy, wispy, looks like if you were to pull them, it would definitely break, you got fine hair, okay? You got fine hair strands. Now, if you have a very th strong, thick, like you could tie it to a pole and hook your dog up to it and walk away kind of hair strand, then of course you have thick hair. Now, something that um, I was actually talking to a guy about this and he knew uh, actually a whole crap ton about hair, it really threw my game off. He was on his stuff. And he actually explained to me, a lot of black women or black people in general think they have super super thick hair but to be honest with you the only ethnicity i don't want to say only either because we all have everybody's different but the ethnicity that typically tends to actually truly have the thickest hair out of all of us on this little planet tend to be people of asian descent now I know what you're thinking. I know I got some Asian friends that they look like they bald and I can see they scalp through their hair. Hair density and how thick your hair strands are are two different things. Hair density is basically how many hair strands you have on your head. Hair thickness is how thick the actual strand is, okay? So you might have met some, some people of Asian descent that have very low hair density which means they don't have a lot of hair on their hair on their hair they don't have a lot of hair on their head but their hair thickness is actually pretty daggone thick if you notice people of asian descent typically have really big thick black hair strands like you could really wrap it around your finger and it won't even snap kind of hair strands if your hair is along the lines of that then you have thick hair strands but typically People of African descent tend to have thinner, finer hair strands and super high hair density. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering where Bear is, he's right over there at our computer building our brand new website. Go ahead and squeak for him, Bear, so they know it's real. Bear is working on our new website where we're going to be offering you guys consultation services for your froze. I think I have about two or three packages that all have a variety of different options, but basically I'm doing this because I've reached over 100K and I have noticed that I am not responding to you guys' long essay questions where you describe to me the history of your hair you describe to me the problem and you're really looking for me to sit down at that comment and basically solve all your problems okay i'm noticing that i am skipping those comments and i really hate to because those are the comments that i am here for like the comments to really help you guys with your hair journey however with reaching over 100k i really just don't have the time to sit down and answer those comments like you can ask my friends like i'll literally when it's post day your girl is literally on her phone all day just responding to comments and I'm not even a phone person so I'm offering you guys a service where you can FaceTime me where I can actually see your hair I can see the problem I actually have like external materials like PDFs where I've actually written down how to build your own wash day routine 
through these FaceTimes, I'm going to teach you how to build your own wash day routine. I mean, eh, I'm doing it all for you guys. So you might not even have to come back to my channel ever again and watch another hair video because we should solve a majority of your problems through these services. Okay. So definitely check in the description box below and click the website link and read everything because that is where that information is going to be. Now back to the task at hand, these styles that you will not be wearing if you have fine strands and yes we are going to be starting with fine strands first you should not be wearing any hairstyles any protective styles that strain your edges basically any style that causes any form of tension you should not be wearing and the reason for this is when you have fine hair strands your hair is more prone to breakage like they're fine your hair strands are not thick they're not really strong so when you're trying to do a high poof as a protective style it's not going to work for you because you are going to snap off all of your edges prime example moi okay i am someone who actually has fine hair strands but a super high hair density okay so my hair appears to be thick but as you can see my braids if i actually had thick strands these braids would be a lot thicker because if you actually look at my parting my parting is really big like the sections on my hair are really really big however my braids are super skinny as if i parted the smallest eatsy beatsy little section and i have a lot of breakage on my hairline i always do because i'm someone who doesn't care i'm a bit of a savage and so i will sleep with high poofs in now when you have thicker hair strands you can put two poofs in or do a updo and wrap it and fall asleep with it and use that as a protective style you can do that because you have thicker stronger hair strands however when you have finer hair strands you cannot do that and i really wish i would have see it takes for you guys to ask me questions in the comment section for things to finally like really snap and for me to be like dang i really should have explained that more because i talk about protective styles all the time i tell you guys wear high poofs but it never dawned on me to actually teach you guys who should be wearing high poofs or who shouldn't so if you have fine hair your protective style shouldn't ever include anything that deals with the updo or any styles that are going to cause tension AKA any rubber band styles, okay? Nada, nada. Now, real quickly, let's get into the do nots for the thicker hair strands. You guys basically shouldn't be wearing any overly heavy hairstyles. And the reason I say that is because people who have thicker hair strands, your hair is automatically heavy. So you shouldn't be doing any hairstyles that involve too much added braiding hair if you're going to do individuals or whatever. You shouldn't have a stylist who's just smacking on the Kinecolon onto each braid. Like your hair is already heavy. The, your, hair, your braids are automatically going to be thick so there's not too much braiding hair that should already be added to it. Your, the name of the game for thicker hair strands is don't make your hair all like too much heavier than it already is okay because basically that's where you're going to cause breakage because your hair is going to basically be too heavy for your actual scalp and then you're going to cause tension and tension leads to snapping of the hair strands aka breakage i really hope you get what i'm going here just don't make your hairstyles too heavy okay but thicker hair strands typically are able to do more than your counterparts now let's get into the hairstyles you can wear okay now for both hair strands fine and thick please do not add too much braiding hair Kanekalon, Kankalon, whatever you want to call it, too much braiding hair to your hairstyles, okay? Passion twist, uh, what is it? What's the other one? Crochet styles, uh, individuals, uh, faux locks, whatever you want to call them. The added hair, please do not add too much because in terms of fine strands, your hair will snap at like, you know, the wind blow too hard. So adding too much added hair will just be added tension and added tension will snap fine hair no problem thick hair yes you can add a lot of hair your guys's hair is very very strong however i want you to be mindful of how heavy you're making your own hair because that'll lead to headaches that'll lead to improper hair care and it adds to added weight mostly so added weight is then again going to give you a bunch of tension on your scalp and tension can cause breakage so i would just say 
find yourself a braider that does not need to add a bunch of hair for her braiding style or whatever you want to call it let your braider know or even if you're going to braid your own hair keep in mind you don't need that much added braiding hair in order to make the style pop okay you don't need 10 and 12 packages of hair all right now for the nitty-gritty what styles to do for fine hair my number one go-to is individuals without any added hair and that can be individual twist right now i have individual braids in it can be any individual style that requires no added hair i find that that is always the best and if you are somebody that has a twa to medium awkward length whatever you want to call it still that style is cute with individuals without added hair okay i'm gonna let me just post some real quick okay let me i'm gonna just post some while i get my other tip I mean, number two, flat twist. Flat twist, I love. You can't really twist flat twist too tight to the point where it's gonna cause tension. You can do that with cornrows, but you really can't do that with flat twists because the grip of the whole pattern and everything really just won't allow you to snap or cause too much tension. It really just won't allow you. So I love flat twists for finer strand hair people i mean you guys know i am an advocate for wigs so if you really want to keep your hair healthy underneath your wigs you can still get a slick down base without cornrows you could just use flat twist instead because for those of you guys who are wearing wigs and you still can't figure out why that protective style isn't working for you it's causing more harm than damage it's not the wig itself that's causing harm and damage it's the protective style underneath the wig okay you're braiding your hair too tight or too often and the tension from the braids is what's causing your hairline to recede or be non-existent so you want to substitute cornrows finer strand hair people with flat twist underneath your wigs and another reason why your edges might be coming out is because you're using glue i highly suggest to use glueless wigs which means no got to be glue and no uh whatever the actual like adhesive glue is for wigs stop using that stuff you can honestly i did two wig reviews on wigs that come glueless with adjustable straps pre-plucked and pre-bleached those are the only wigs you should be wearing okay no more of these back in the day wigs where you got to get glue and you got to get all this extra stuff and put it on your edges and then hope that junk don't rip out or the actual chemicals or toxins does not cause your hair to become weak okay but please flat twists are most important number three any unweighted hairstyle like i said individuals i love individuals without added hair for finer hair strands like i'm wearing now but just if you can think of something different any short unweighted hairstyle so let's say you want to do crochet braids please do those styles with short hair okay so if you have finer hair strands and you want to do a crochet style but you want the style to be down your back please don't do that with super heavy hair or by putting too much hair in your crochet style okay because that can lead to tension and tension leads to breakage now i've heard that crochet hair tends to be a lot more lighter than you would think however still i've seen some people with so much so much hair in their crochet styles it doesn't make any sense the slightest bit of something being too much like you might think that's not too much hair however your hair is very delicate when it is fine okay so please really rethink what you're doing when you're adding in all of that hair to your crochet styles because y'all love to come y'all love to come for us who love to wear wigs but to be honest with you honey wigs can be a lot more healthy than actual crochet styles because i done seen some people with so much hair the hair weigh more than they actual body does okay now last but not least for fine stranded people bob hairstyles i don't know why but just i love bobs which is why i really want to bring them up because i know everybody's so into long hair like long 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 hair but i think the bob really gets 
pushed to the back, you know? She's a nice, subtle girl. She doesn't get into too much trouble. She's really the good girl kind. And I feel like good girls always get overlooked. However, a, a nice braided bob, okay? Like a 90s braided bob. That style is still lit, it's still cute, it still gives you hang time, still gives you flip, okay? Now I know you guys are waiting for these thicker hairstyles, so let's get into it. The thicker styles, y'all really, Y'all are slick, but y'all really can do what you want, okay? You really can do what you want, which is a little unfair, but whatever. You can really do what you want. However, just watch your weight, okay? or not your weight, but watch the weight of your hair, okay? You can do box braids. Oh, another thing you can do, bantu knots. People with thick hair, y'all really be sleeping on bantu knots just as much as fine-stranded people be sleeping on bobs. I feel like people with finer strands love to do bantu knots and it never comes out with a really thick, full knot and it really disappoints us. However, this is where you come in and you shine thicker strands. Thicker stranded people, you are the people who can install bantu knots and your knots are actually a good, hefty, sexy size, okay? So I wanna see you guys wear bantu Bantu knots more. That is definitely a protective style. I really feel like y'all should y'all should be whipping bantu knots everywhere y'all go. Come on, they so cute. Y'all the only ones that can really rock them. Oh, and side note, if you are a finer strand person, have you noticed that about your bantu knots? Like they just be like little, little little of a knot like just a little tiny knot like a little poop knot you know it's not like that big meaty knot anybody else notice that comment down below now the last but not least for thicker hairstyles you guys really can do twisted updos y'all are the ones that have strong enough hair to do a twisted updo as a protective style and then leave it in for however long you guys are the ones that can really install a high poof wrap y'all edges and then just keep going the next day okay y'all the ones that can do a sleek back style wrap it up keep going the next day so i want to see you guys more so doing the high poof thing but this is pretty much it for this video i really hope this helped and if you guys have any more in-depth questions please 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 check out my new consultation service now i am not a hairstylist or cosmetologist or anything like that but I am someone who does not have any issues with my hair okay I am somebody that is, has a very strong natural hair routine I am somebody that natural hair comes pretty easy to me and I want it to come easy to you so any questions that you have it's going to take a lot of time for me to do these things which is why I can't really offer this service for free because it is going to take up time for my day to be facetiming you guys to be looking at your hair and for us to really be sitting down and problem solving and for me to be building you guys your wash day routines and your wash and goes so definitely click that website and I will see you guys in my next video peace out